In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using the new layer mask feature and specifically on a frame layer. Now, the new layer mask feature in Photoshop Elements 9 uh, is a really nice new feature. Layer masks have been around in Photoshop Elements really since Elements first came about, but it was always kind of implemented. It was kind of a hack. And now in the new version of Photoshop Elements 9, we now have an actual layer mask function. Now there are some things that I found out interesting when working specifically with frame layers that I thought was really interesting as it relates to layer mask and I thought I would point those out and show you some of the things I learned so that if you become frustrated as I did you'll understand some of the limitations here inside Photoshop Elements and also learn a little bit of some interesting techniques in working with layer masks. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to delete what I have already here on my layout and begin the process by, first of all, creating a new frame layer. So I'm going to make a selection here inside Photoshop Elements, and I'm going to switch over to our um, Designer's Toolkit plugin to create a frame layer with that selection. And then I'm going to drag and drop an image into that frame. Now here's the first thing that I learned is that if I click on this button here, let me just kind of show you, walk you through the principles here. If I click on the add layer mask button here in the layers palette, by default, it's always going to add what, what they call a reveal all layer mask. In other words, it's going to be solid white. Okay, I'm going to undo that. <clears throat> Now, one thing that I learned is that if I make a selection and add a layer mask, when I'm on a frame layer specifically, I'm, I'm going to hover over this so you can see this. See where it says add vector mask? I no longer can add a layer mask when I have a selection present. If I don't have a selection present, I still cannot add a layer mask like I did previously um, and, and I think it's just a little bit of a bug inside Photoshop Elements it's kind of a weird it's kind of a weird thing so if I were to clear what's also interesting though if I clear out my photo and then I make a selection I can then add a layer mask and notice that the area that I had selected is white and all the rest of the area is black. Okay. Now if I come up to my layers palette, there's a layer mask function that has all the options. Reveal all is just like clicking on this button with no selection. Hide all is giving me a black layer mask. And then reveal selection, which would uh, allow us the area that we have selected be white or the hide the selected area it would be black and everything else would be white so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a hide all layer mask for this example then what we're going to do is look at the layer mask itself so I'm going to hold down my alt key or option key on a Mac and we can see that currently our layer mask is solid black now we have a guideline here to represent the edge of our frame layer my foreground color is white and what we're going to do is we're going to be using a custom shape on our layer mask to create a neat layer mask effect for our image so I'm going to come in here and grab one of my custom shapes I'm going to draw this out I might add that this custom shape is available in the download section of our website there's a link here uh, in the video description that'll take you right there See, it's a real pretty little photo edge effect there. And then I'm going to just drag out a simple rectangle. And there we have our layer mask. So when I switch back over here, you can see what we have. We have just this really pretty effect. So that when I drag and drop my image into it, the image resizes to fit the frame layer and you can see I have this beautiful effect where the image is filling up all the little uh, frillies, little design elements as part of that layer mask. OK, 
Okay, so that just kind of a quick little tip on working with layer masks uh, with with inside Photoshop Elements. Now, one last little tip. I'm on my layer mask. In certain circumstances, it might be neat to invert this layer mask. So if I hit Control I, notice it gives me this dialog box that says you're attempting to edit a photo in a frame. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say I'm going to say no, and I'm going to clear my photo. So remove it from the frame, and then if I want to change my my layer mask, Control I, no problem. See how I just inverted that, and it changed instantly. So that's just another little tip for you that there's only certain things we can do with a layer mask once we have an image within the frame but if we remove the image we can manipulate the layer mask any which way we want to and then replace our image and because it's so easy to place images within frames I mean it's just crazy um, how easy it is to work with images and our frame layers just by clicking and dragging flip that image horizontally and you can see it just creates a really, really beautiful effect. And there's all kinds of things now that we can do with layer masks here inside Photoshop Elements. Thanks for watching.